um, uh, this is about a specific case. You'll be familiar with it. James in London asks, uh, can you tell us what can and, has, and is being done to raise awareness of Palestinian detainee Ahmed Manasra? I think he's, I, if I pronounce his name correctly, who's been in prison for over seven years since he was 13 years old and is now reportedly suffering with extreme mental health problems. Do you know what the latest is on his condition? And um, should he be released by Israel? Do you know about this case, Francesca? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, I do because this case has been haunting me since the very beginning, since I saw the scenes of this boy. No matter, no matter, no matter what he had done, no child should be treated the way he's been treated. The footage of him, broken bones, laying on the ground under a barrage of insults, and then fiercely interrogated by an adult being tormented through the interrogation after being in hospital, um, in, chained to bed and spoon-fed by someone who was not his mom. Uh, Ahmed was 13 when he was, uh, when he was arrested and then he's been convicted. And there have been so many irregularities that I cannot go through them. But what I've done is to take this case um, as soon as I as I came into 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 the job, and um, and do everything that is in my power by writing letters, by joining the, the international advocacy campaign. There will be yes, I will come. I mean, I will come out more more vocally um, on on this in the in the coming days. But I'm not going to let it go. This is a case that needs to be exposed. It's not a unique case. This is what I'm saying. I, I decided to focus from the very beginning on a few cases like Mohammed uh, Halabi, um, uh, Salah Hamouri, uh, Ahmed Manasra, because they, again, they are not unique, but they represent the fierceness and the brutality of arrest and detention and the politics of imprisonment imposed on the Palestinians. So uh, my intention is to keep focusing on it, coming through um, with a specific report and analysis and recommendations on these issues, because it's uh, it's extremely critical. The numbers of detainees, including in administrative detention, meaning without without evidence of wrongdoing, without conviction. I mean, it's evidence... Detention without secret. trial. That, that's detention without, without trial. trial. Without yeah. trial. I mean, there is evidence, but it's kept secret. So we yeah. don't know. I mean, there is no conviction. So why they are in jail? Yeah, I, ironically, I think using um, uh, colonial era laws from the British mandate, if you can believe there it. Are 600, there are 670 people in administrative detention. Unbelievable. Detention.